Howdy folks, Doc here from Last Best Tool, and I've got a question. Do you really need snap-on tools to clean a Roomba? And the answer is no, but it sure makes it a lot more fun. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now, is go through a quick um, sequence of how I clean this Roomba, because I end up having to do it about uh, once a week, and I've kind of got a routine down, um, with a handful of different tips and tricks that I've learned over probably doing this for five years. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, luckily you don't need your 40 ounce dead blow ball peen hammer or your uh, snap on wrenches. What you do need is a handful of small tools and the more the merrier. I've got both uh, Phillips and slotted screwdrivers couple of snap-on brushes here, the stainless steel and the brass, two picks, actually a pick in this um, little hockey pry bar stick thing that I keep showing you, uh, pliers, two small Phillips screwdrivers, my ratcheting um, screwdriver with a, a Phillips bit in it, um, and a set of snap-on um, dikes, wire cutters. Um, one thing to do, if you've got some of these wire cutters and you're, you're curious, you know, are they going to be able to cut the, the, the small things I may need them to, um, is you can just grab a thin piece of paper. This is a Home Depot receipt, so you can see it's about as thin as it gets. And I can cut into this, and notice I'm not cutting off the corner. I'm actually using the full extent of the blade, because when I grab that, then it, it cuts. But notice... Um, uh, like I'll line up the very tip with the corner of this um, mark on the back and squeeze and then I look. So what it's doing, that one didn't cut right at the edge there or at the very tip. It cut right in the middle. Let's try it again. I'll line it up with the line here and squeeze. Okay, that one again just about cut there and stopped just a little bit before the end. So that tells me right away, you can see how, how good this is cutting paper. That's a great tip. So when I dig in, um, maybe to cut some dog hair or something that's stuck, I can actually nibble right up um, near the tip, but not the very tip. The tip, very tip doesn't seem to cut, but just south of that tip um, will cut it. And so I can put these into service without having to go to scissors um, or a finer, smaller set. If you have a, an old set, just go ahead and start snipping some paper just to see what they're doing. Sometimes it's all over the place. Sometimes it doesn't even cut it um, because the spacing's off. But anyway, that's, that's my tip um, for just checking out what the blades are doing. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do um, is I hit this thing with a vacuum, just be, with another vacuum, just because it's pretty dirty and dusty and I want to get the general stuff off. So I've got a, you know, my vacuum hose right here. good enough and then I'm going to pull off the the dirty part here this I'll dump out and then I'll be vacuuming out that um, filter so I'm going to open this up and vacuum these out good so I've got the, these two pieces out, um, and I'm going to go ahead and take out this uh, uh, this spinning brush here. As you can see, it's all wound up with with carpet and some other stuff. And then pop this out. This is the the guide wheel. Um, for the guide wheel, what I usually do is just grab a little slotted screwdriver, slide it in, and lift straight up. There you can see, and I'll get to that in a second. And then I can also use this slotted screwdriver right here to loosen this screw. Both of these have retention on the opposite side, so the screw doesn't come all the way out. Just loosen it till it spins freely. Kind of a mess. That's why I'm going to need the cutters. Um, and then I usually hit 
this with the vacuum real quick as well because that's another spot in right here that can have dust that'll get up into your face. There. All right. Um, now I'll show you how to clean those in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and dig right into this whole thing uh, pretty quick. So you can see what I've got is my little snap on ratcheting screwdriver. Um, under other conditions, I might use a drill um, with a Phillips bit on it. But the point of this is to enjoy using snap on tools, even in a mundane task like this. So this is almost free, not quite. Make sure I've got them all off. That one's off, this one's the stuck one. Be nice if there was knurling down there so you could quickly grab it. Maybe it makes it a hair harder to clean, but it sure would come in handy. So there we go. Um, and I'm gonna hit this one more time once I'm in here. Here's the battery. Actually, this is a replacement. I had a different, I had the original Roomba in there and it started to kind of lose charge. So I picked that one up on Amazon, threw it in, piece of cake. So let's go in one more time. There. Now, if I want to go further, um, I can dive in one more level right here and loosen these up. There's four more screws that'll allow me to take out this railing right there. That supports the brush module. You can see and look at that. Get my pick here so you can see just how dirty that is. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a vacuum first. And if I was going to spend more time, I would dig in and make sure that I've got, you know, all of the dirt out. Um, I can pick it out. There's usually little bits and pieces stuck in places. Um, usually I can get most of it with the vacuum. If not, I'll dig it out. But this is good enough. So now it's apart. And then what I need to do is clean the individual pieces. I'll go in with the vacuum and a brush, um, probably the brass brush, just loosening up the dust and dirt all the way around. Um, then these are contacts. Um, I'll take a little piece of emery paper like this. Sorry, I don't have any snap on emery paper and just kind of do a light polish here to help the contacts. And I'll also do that on the charging base. Once I get to this point where I'm working on these, see how uh, kind of wound up these are? This is my best tool for that. It's a little hook pick and I can just grab onto uh, to the pieces and use a little kind of isometrics to pull this out. If it's too, uh, too thick, I can go in and literally go with the dikes and start ripping that out. Just like that. Takes a little bit, which the longer you wait, the longer it takes to clean it. You get the picture. Um, I can also snip these right here, just like that, and pull those out. And then same thing here. I just don't want to cut any of the plastic. And pry this off and I can also use the hook to kind of get in there and get the rest of it. 
So I have to do that all the way uh, through that, pop these off, I'll vacuum those out later. Um, same thing here, I have to pull all this out. If I notice it's giving off dust, I'll quickly grit the vacuum again. Try to break through everything else. So you can see, this is the most time consuming part, is just pulling all this stuff off. Um, get it really clean until finally I can slide this through really smoothly without catching anything. Um, I will tell you, I've cut myself a bunch of times, um, so I'm really careful about how I'm holding it and how I'm moving this through. But it takes a while to work it all off. Kind of gross. But anyway, so I'll do that. This part here, so usually I can slide it off. Sometimes I do need to go to the dikes um, and cut it free. Don't want to damage anything. Pull off the pieces. And then um, this part here, you can pop the wheel out. Um, the wheel just pops up forward. Now these two areas on the wheel um, have the most stuff, so you can pry those wads of stuff out and usually get a little ring. Make sure, and I'll vacuum this, but hold on tight so it doesn't disappear into the vacuum. Um, and then, once it's all done, I go back to the reassembly. Um, I won't spend the whole time doing these, I'll just show you how to put it back together. So. Uh, I'm going to vacuum out this one more time and then put the pieces back together. So there's that. Take the module here, and drop it back in, get your screwdriver, and once this is in, I usually take the brush and scrub this down. There's a couple of contacts on it. I want to make sure it's clean, so I'll take the brass. I may use the stainless brush if things are really uh, dirty on here, but the brass usually works pretty good. Loosen things up here as well. If you need to pop this thing off, you can. It just snaps off there to get up underneath, but I've managed to be able to do it pretty easily without taking that off. I'm just worried that those contacts aren't going to last, or those connections aren't going to last very long. Okay, there's that. Um, I'll drop the battery back in right there. Fold those forward. Pop this back together. You can drop that, and you can do this one at any time. Um, this I would clean off totally. Brush it down, or, or uh, um, whoops, uh, vacuum it down. Flip my little wonderful ratcheting screwdriver, and then drop it in. A little snug, plastic snug not metal snug. And then I'm going to drop this back on, line it up. It's got an orientation, kind of a hexagon, so you line it up and push down. The screw pops up. Take your screwdriver and again, plastic tight. There we go. This is snap back in, spinning freely. Sometimes I'll polish this with a, um, uh, depending on what it, how bad it is, um, with the emery cloth, or I might use even up to a file um, or scraper. Let's line that up, push straight down till it pops. Put these back. Now normally they'd be a lot cleaner than this, but that again takes a while. And I would also brush off these. I can show you that here um, with either brush just to clean the goo off it inside's pretty good snap that whoops yeah snap that one back on 
something there's too much on here there we go drops in just like that same with that and brush it off drop it in pretty messy I'm obviously gonna spend the time right after this to clean it there we go drop that in close it up wheels look good that's all working you know and then I would have cleaned this out popped the filter out vacuumed it all out um, you can disassemble this thing with the screws if you want I do that maybe I don't know once every six months um, but there it is that is a Roomba cleaning using snap-on tools that was fun hope you enjoyed it doc out